My name is uh, Larry Groby. I'm Voodoo Larry from uh, Illinois, about 30 miles west of Chicago. And I'm here in California this weekend for the uh, Ink and Iron Festival. And I brought out a, a car this, for the show this weekend to debut. I just finished it about a week and a half ago. And uh, right here we have a 1931 Ford Model A. I built the car in uh, six months from frame up. I started on it two weeks before Christmas and I just finished her a week and a half ago. It's a, uh, it's a 31 Model A. Body was uh, in fair condition. I had to do a lot of uh, patch panels on the lowers. Uh, I chopped the top six inches, um, molded the visor, scratched both the rain gutters because the rain gutters were completely rotten. Um, otherwise, the body was pretty good. It wasn't too bad. Uh, it was a, an eBay score, you know. Uh, it's built on uh, a 32 Ford uh, ra frame rails uh, with a flare in the bottom. But what I did differently in this car is I, uh, I instead of channeling the body over the frame to give it that channel look, I sectioned the frame rail down to four inches tall from six inches. So the body looks like it's channeled, but it really isn't. I'm a tall guy and I want to be able to have enough interior room in the car for me to sit in there and take it for a trip, you know. Um, okay, the uh, motor is a, a small block Chevy. Uh, I want to say it's a 350. Uh, a friend of mine back home, uh, he builds motors. He's one of my club members, and uh, he built the motor for me. I designed it. Uh, I built the headers, set up the intake manifold, and everything. Um, and uh, it's got a turbo. It's got a turbo 350 transmission. It's polished. Um, You'll see it in the video as, as, as it's being filmed. I'll open up the car so you can see it inside there. Uh, it's a 32 Ford uh, grill shell. And if you notice, uh, there's no radiator in the, in the front of the car. Radiator is actually in the rear of the car. A lot of people ask, how, how is that car cool? But, you know, I'm like, I, and I joke around a lot. I say, that's oh, air cooled, you know. But no, you get air cooled small box Chevy. So anyway, yeah, I mounted the radiator in the rear uh, just for a different effect, you know. Headlights are uh, 1927 uh, ENJs. Uh, that was another eBay find. Uh, the wheels are 1934 Dodge uh, Artillery uh, military wheels. Um, that was another eBay score too. The uh, front suspension uh, is a, is a uh, drop to axle. It's a Magnum drop to axle. It's the widest one that Magnum makes. Uh, wishbones are uh, 40 Ford. Uh, front spring is actually located behind the grill shelf for a, a different effect. You know, a lot of guys mount the spring out front for more of a suicide look, but I just wanted the axle out front, you know, just, just for that, just the axle showing, you know. The brakes are, uh, are uh, Buick drums, actual Buick drums, and the backing plates are uh, Wilson welding uh, fin backing plates to go with the uh, fin drums. The intake on the motor uh, is a, uh, an old Edelbrock uh, cross ram, the X1 cross ram. It has functional six carburetors. Uh, and functional ink engine and everything. The uh, fuel lines are custom made by a friend of mine back in Chicago. He uh, specializes in low riders, so he bent all my fuel lines up for me. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's a, it's a complete functional uh, intake. Um, the back of the car, kind of a rare item to find those too. That was a that was another eBay find. Quite expensive for those, but you don't see them that often, you know. Um, the holes in the back of the car and the back panel here are for the uh, radiator, airflow for the, for the radiator, uh, so you get the amount, right amount of airflow through. The uh, interior now is, uh, is uh, it's still the stock Model A inside of the car, you know, the, the floors, I made the floors up for over the top of the frame rails and everything. The uh, transmission is a polished Turbo 350 that's exposed, because I like doing exposed transmissions in my car to give it more of an uh, industrial look, you know, the aircraft set up. Now if you look at the seats, all the door panels, the dash panel, all the kick panels and everything, those were all made by a, a friend of mine down in Georgia. Uh, his name is Mike uh, Mercurio and he specializes in making the bomber seats and I fell in love with these things when I saw them so I bought a pair for my car and ever since then people have seen these things I've been getting them a lot of business by making the bomber seats. And then I asked him, I says, can you make panels? And he's like, no problem. So he made all my interior panels. Um, and had them finished in like a week. It takes them about a week to make the bomber seats. The seat belts on the bomber seats are actual surplus military that have never been used. Those are NOS uh, seat belts that, that was another eBay score. And, uh, but they're mint condition, mint condition, right out of the box, never been used in a plane. Um, the, uh, uh, the pads on the seats and the top on the car were uh, made by uh, a friend of mine. He actually works out of my shop. He goes by the name of Stitch, and he makes all my seat pads, does all my upholstery, did my carpeting and my top for the car. And he also cuts glass, so he did all the glass for the car. And uh, awesome job, awesome job. Um, 
pretty much that's about it that's about it um, but I'm proud to say I built the car in six months I started on like I said two weeks before Christmas and put a lot of late nights I worked on our worked on the customers cars eight hours a day and then a after the five o'clock rolls around as much time as I want to put into it in the evening time well here it is all the way from Chicago <laughs>